I didn't expect to see you here, Miss Robin. Miss Robin. You must be very busy. What brings you here to Dream's Edge? Well, perhaps the dreamscape is not so different from reality. When we look up into the night sky, the stars aren't really there. The glimmering lights we see are merely the images of stars from long ago. So, have we ever truly seen a real sky full of stars? No, no. Today is my rest day. There's going to be a show later, so I came early to find a good seat. It's somewhere farther away. They say it's a farewell performance. The kind that's better to listen to from afar than watch it performed live. Miss Robin, may I stay here with you to gaze at the stars before the show begins? stars are unfamiliar to me. I don't recognize any of them, and it makes me feel uneasy. Perhaps it's both. The Stellaron disaster may not have had any real consequences, but many guests still chose to check out. Now the hotel feels quieter than before. It makes me wonder what Panacone's future will be like. I just hope it will not negatively affect you, Miss Robin. Did the person you wanted to say them to leave? Sometimes, what's in your heart doesn't need to be dressed up in words. Maybe he already knows what you wanted to say. If you don't mind me asking, who is it that you wish to encourage? There are many such people on Panacone. 
failure is like the setting sun to a dream chaser. It's something that happens every day. I believe they all have the willpower to start anew. Especially after receiving a smile from you, Miss Robin. Are you saying that's not true? <sighs> Failure may be a good thing for someone like that. Being able to reflect on one's actions is a valuable quality to have. Why is that? I hope so. A dream jigsaw. I see. I'll do my best. I'm still inexperienced, so let's just hope we get lucky. おそらく他のドリーム これは折れた翼かもしれないわ。もう少し探してみましょう。大丈夫よ。これを使いましょう。
十分ねそろそろ戻りましょう。完成しましたどうぞご覧くださいこれより向かうは見知らぬ星々しかしあなたがここで空を眺めている限りその星々も私たちが再会する故郷となるでしょう。しばらく彼女のそばにいられればそれでいいと思っていましたのでしかしなぜ余計なことをしたのですか何のことかなあのメモのことに決まっているでしょう他の方に見つかってしまったら彼女に不利な証拠になりかねないというのに。君は何度も好き勝手してるのに僕はダメって言うのかだって一生後悔するのは嫌なんだ一生の後悔かこのお別れもそろそろ終わりだよなええ次で最後ですですが出発する前にベルトさんあなたに一つお聞きしたいことがありますあなたはなぜ七死人になったのですかどうして急にそんなことをここまで同行していただく中で確信しましたベルトさんは助けを必要とする人を決して見捨てない方なのだと今この瞬間もまだまだ数えきれないほどの世界が空の上で請求列車の来訪を待っているしかしあなたと仲間たちは会ったことのない旧友そして悪名高い逃亡犯のためにピノコニーにとどまっています開拓の意味は前進することであって立ち止まることではありませんだというのにあなたは当然のように大切な時間を科学たちのために費やしているそれはなぜですかその考えには同意しかねるなそれに
きっと時計屋だって同じ選択をしただろうその選択をした彼は列車と別れ以降二度と軍政へ向かうことはなかったではありませんか全ての旅が星の海へと向かうわけじゃない列車を離れても終わらない開拓はある七死人は特定の人物を指す言葉ではない開拓に対する考え方は人それぞれだが状況が許す限り俺たちは己の信じる開拓の道を全力で突き進むそして俺が開拓する対象は未知なる世界ではなくこの星空のもとに生きる人々だベルトは俺の故郷で世界を意味する誰もが自分の中に広大な天地を秘め星々と同じように可能性を持っていることを示しているんだそんな人たちとのつながりこそこの旅で得られる最も価値のあるものこれが俺の開拓の道でありここにとどまっている理由だではなぜ私を選んだのですか言っただろ俺も故郷を離れる時はバタバタしていたから君の気持ちは分からなくもないとそして過去と決別すると決めた時人は冷静に自分と向き合えるようになる今の君のようにここには俺と君の二人しかいないんだろやっぱりバレてたかあなたの目をごまかすことはできませんねワービックの秘密を見破られた以上もう一から説明する必要もありませんねでは早速本題に入りこのお別れにピリオドを打ちましょう。I know you can hide your appearance, but trespassing on restricted family grounds is still a bold move. Don't worry, I won't take too much time. I was a child when I first visited the Grand Theater. I remember seeing the light behind the curtains from here and believing it to be the morning star guiding me toward the land of the dreams. When I returned here many years later as the head of the Oak family, I finally learned that the light was actually a Stellaron. Now that you've returned to the stage, what are you planning to do? Prepare for my departure. I've always believed that a person's starting point should also be his last stop. Have you ever seen the elderly at the end of their lives? As they welcome their final moments, they invariably raise their hands, stretching their arms into the emptiness. Much like how babies also stretch their arms into the air when they are first born. Humanity flaps their wings twice as they complete their journey. Once when they are born, 
and once when they die. In order to flap my own wings and soar again. I will say goodbye, here, to the me of yesterday. Uh, I really hate this face. My expressions feel so dull and lifeless. I see. That explains why something always felt off about your appearance. The halo above your head that symbolizes the harmony, it's been missing since the moment we reunited. It's true that this ring was bestowed upon our people by the heavens, but that doesn't mean it can't be thrown away. While I was in the gallery of thoughts, at the entrance of the dream, I chose to completely sever the halo from myself. Why? I am a fugitive, after all. I must remove any chance of being detected by the family. <sighs> Another reason is... to feel pain. A pain like falling from the sky with broken wings that can keep me awake. This is how I can cast aside all the blessings of the Harmony, and the Order, and... for the first time in my life, enter the sweet dream as an ordinary person. Is that also how Mr. One Week came into this world? <laughs> no. You wouldn't believe the real story even if he told you. He was born from an accident. One that you're actually quite familiar with. It was that try not to laugh challenge. Quite embarrassing, to be honest. I was roaming around as an ordinary person when I unfortunately fell into that Pepeshi's trap. The prank that fragmented Miss Ting Yoon also divided my fragile self into two. Are you saying that he's a part of you? That's quite surprising given that you two look nothing alike. You could say he's another possibility of me. I too was once a child, with aspirations buried deep within. Over time, those childhood voices grew increasingly faint. Maybe if I had made a small change in my childhood, I would have turned out to be exactly like him. What a pity, failing to become a better version of yourself. So. My final farewell will be like that of Miss Ting Yun. I will perform a tuning on myself and return to my complete form. And this also means that one week will vanish for good. That's why I said this was the last stop. Is there a possibility that you will be the one who disappears? No. This is a foregone conclusion. But who's to say there won't be any changes? Maybe deep down, I'm also anticipating this possibility. Regardless of the outcome, you will have a witness. I'll be waiting for you in the audience. Much appreciated. Now, shall we begin? Anticipating this possibility, you've really changed. In the past, you wouldn't have tolerated any noise at all. I'm about to embark on an unknown journey where it will be impossible to maintain my orderly life. I will have to navigate unexpected surprises, much like today. You're not ready at all, are you? I feel unsettled, maybe even scared. Ever since I left Penacony, I could no longer control everything. Don't flatter yourself. You can't control anything. But isn't that how it is for most people? My fear of the unknown may be a weakness, but your presence has shown me that 
surprises aren't always bad. Meeting you has been a great help to me, and I'm glad to have discovered this side of myself. I also feel grateful for the opportunity to tell you this in person. I truly dislike you. What? Are you sure you didn't mean the opposite? I must admit, many of your qualities strike a chord with me. There are times when I want to joke around, freely express my thoughts, or openly share my dislike of a person. Or my fondness. I want to tell her that I love all her songs. Then go for it, Sonny. You always talk about locking the bird in the cage, but you're the one who's trapped. Look at yourself. Besides discipline and hesitation, there's nothing else in your life. If you continue living like a slab of marble, you'll break into pieces when you fall. <sighs> but I won't become like you. I simply can't. I dislike people who are frivolous. It makes me uncomfortable to even emulate them. If I fail, I will still uphold my principles, such as decorum and stateliness. As for the harmony, my stance remains the same. Whether it's you or the paths, if what I once doubted, or even opposed, becomes the force I must rely on in the future, then this time, my true heart will guide the tuning. I'll leave it to you. What is this? Leaving your fate entirely up to a coin flip? This isn't like you at all. Did you lose your mind after being run over by the Express? Or were you possessed by that IPC gambler? Failure is always the best teacher. To save more lives, you must first understand what they live for and what they die for. The best way to achieve this is through personal experience. You see? I'm already starting to make changes. Whether it's us merging or one of us disappearing, I'll leave the tuning to fate. And see if I can embrace all that I detest. Only then will I truly be able to walk among the living in their world. But what if you can't do it? Well. That's out of my hands. It will just prove that I'm still the same person. The person who always disappoints his sister. A day of peaceful repose. Show your courage. Incense ascends, entwined with ethereal clouds. <laughs> cool it.